welcome back to Channel Glopen. Behind me, it is the Juju Tree, which is a vegetarian restaurant. And how do you like this restaurant? At least for me, when I pass it by, I won't think it would be a vegetarian restaurant. I would think it might be a hotel or something like that. In fact, it is called the number one vegetarian restaurant in Shanghai, which is recommended by my British friend Pippa, and she's going to join us in a later time. And today, in our today's journey, we are going to visit three famous vegetarian restaurants. Do you want to know what local vegetarian eat in Shanghai? Let's check it out. West, you found it? Yes. Finally? Yes, finally. I found the wrong places at the very beginning and I found this one in another map. How's really? your journey? How's your journey? How's my journey? Fine, fine. Although I haven't had breakfast, so I'm so hungry. It's yeah. already 1 p.m. Yeah, and uh, we have a reservation at 1 o'clock. Okay. Let's check it out. Amazing. Let's go. Let's go. to order the food. Since it's the first time of my visit of this restaurant, do you have any recommendations? I actually have a lot of recommendations. <laughs> a so, lot? Yes. Their dumplings are really good. Uh, yes. Um, Maybe we can have one dumpling. What, definitely one dumpling. Yes. They do. Um, that's good, but not healthy. <laughs> thousand years later. Let's try one of those. So how many we have now? Three dumplings. Three. And the Big one. fish. Yeah. And um, I, I don't know the pancake what is. thing. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? Stir fried vegetarian crab roe. That's not what I was looking for, but it's probably good. Yes. You want to try one? Yes, I want to have a try of this one. Let's try it. Yes. Okay, perfect. So I think we probably have enough. It's Amazing. The fake, fake I think fish. that's the fake fish. Yes. I actually want to take a picture yes. of this. I never had this dish before. Because you're, you're going to take a picture, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> That looks like a real fish. It really does. Yes. Oh, here comes another dish. The second one. Oh, the fake crab royal rat. Thank you. Good. Oh, it really tasted like like a fish. Mm. What's inside of it? The rice? I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. Yeah. I don't think it's rice. It really tastes like a fish. Yes, third Here. one. Yes, third one. It looks like a Beijing food. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know about that? In Beijing, we have yeah, this yeah, yeah. food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Actually, I went to Beijing yes. last weekend. And have you ate ever? This. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Do you like that? Yeah. I love Beijing food, actually. It's kind of sweet food. This one is quite sweet. Yes, I guess it will be sweet from the appearance. I'm going to have a taste of the second dish. I really like eating crabs, mm. so I want to know what's the difference between them. <laughs> nice. I think mm. it has vigor inside of it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And that's Definitely. similar. That's quite similar. Really, really similar mm. to the crab. Do you want to have a try of this one? Mm, definitely. Oh, it's the last one. The first restaurant. So how did you like the food? I really like it. Thanks for your recommendations. Awesome. And Glad it really, it. really tastes like the meat, the fish, the pork, and the crabs. Mm, and totally. And right now, we are going to our next stop, which is called Fortunate Vegan Cafe. Let's go. Okay, we've reached the side entrance of the Wukong building and we are going to the 8th floor to the Fortunate Vegan Cafe. Let's have a look what's inside of it. Let's go. This one? I think? Yeah. Yeah. 
8th, 7th floor. I think we need to walk to the cafe. What's this? The, it's not the Olympics. No, it's just some some just show. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, Sam Wei. How about this one? Yes, in the corner. Yeah. I think the decoration style is quite yeah. colorful and cute. That's a kind of Shanghai style. Yeah. Notice the happiness corner, and you can see a lot of people have write some some wishes on the paper, which is just like the leaves. And I'm going to write one wish for myself, and so that's perfect. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a pen? Uh, yes, I still haven't decided what to write. Yes, I, I'm I've decided already. Where are you going to place? I I want to be close to you. <laughs> okay. Um, there's a little bit of space to so yeah. here. I wish all my students success in their exams. <laughs> Will you fail some of the students? Yes, if yes. they don't do a good job. <laughs> Actually, <Strict>. they, <laughs> they think I'm strict. <laughs> I think I could sit here, but probably have nowhere to sit. <laughs> oh, I think it would be great to sit on the balcony without anybody around me holding holding a glass of wine and <laughs> and ad admiring and looking at the view. I think I may need a pillow at at the space of my head. It it may feel too tough for me to to put my head on the actually the, <laughs> the back of the chair. Yeah, the back of the chair is too tough. But it's good to lie here and swing the chair. Oh my god! Wow! Oh. Good. It's special. It's not that sweet. It's okay. sour. It's sour and it is not that milky. Um, it's more about the taste of the strawberry, the sour taste. And I would like to have this kind of taste compared with the milky one. Very interesting. Yeah. Second dish, which is called vegetarian char siu, and I just asked the staff and he told me that it was made of some something like the su ji i don't know how to translate it into english su ji we just say su ji su ji you just say su ji yeah, yeah. This, this concept of su ji does not exist in, <laughs> in western yeah. culture <laughs> yeah they really like the taste of meat yeah. i miss yeah. it but yeah, I could totally understand the, the benefits yeah. and the disadvantages are bigger than the advantages i think why? Why you say the disadvantage is bigger? Um, because mainly because of the health thing, and now also like I feel guilty whenever I eat meat now. Yeah, <laughs> I totally understand. I, I do. I do occasionally. Um, yeah. but I I always feel guilty about it. Yeah, I, I just watched the video when I'm mastering around yeah. with my phone that a pig uh, was for falling down from right. from the trunk and mm. and it was the 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 bone of the pig was broken and he sat inside of the yeah. highway and he looks so sad and yeah. so poor and so helpless yeah. and I feel quite sad about yeah, yeah, about yeah. this kind of thing even though I I I, I do eat pork but sometimes when no when I saw this kind of mm. video, I would feel quite sad for them, yeah. sorry for them. But if I attended, if I attend such a lecture like you, you yeah, I may, I may yeah. make the same. It's not really example. about the eating them. It's about how they're, it's about them being treated as a industrial product rather yeah. than a, a living being that can feel pain and you know yeah. like pigs are as intelligent as dogs yeah yeah so like if i can eat this instead of eating a real pig 
then <laughs> to me that feels better yeah, yeah. yeah like this is that's this true. is really good yeah that's true <laughs> Okay, we've reached the front gate of Wukong building and it was built 100 years ago uh, in 1924 and it was built by a Hungarian architecture which is called Wu Da Ke and the shape of this building is just like a belt and another interesting thing is that it is located at the junction of six roads. How do you like this building? Very nice. Honestly, before today I, I walked past it several times but I never knew anything about its history before. Yeah, but it's quite famous. We can see that a lot of people is gathering here to take pictures oh, with this mm. list. People everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how much you need to pay if you want to buy a room and an apartment inside of the Wukam building? Buy an apartment? I yeah. have no idea. Have I guess. guess um, honestly, I really don't know. Let's say... Oh, it's about uh, 130,000 RMB. RMB for per square meter. Per basis. square meter, yeah. okay. What? What the fuck? Right now, we're heading to our next stop, which is also the last restaurant of our journey today, which is called Eat Vegan. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we have arrived at our last restaurant, which is called Ru Eat Vegan. And let's, let's check go. it out. Yeah. It looks quiet and small. Okay, we have already oh, ordered the food and one pizza, one yogurt and one little snack. Mm. And this, this restaurant is famous for the pizza and compared with the other two, I think this one would be more kind of Western style. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you find any differences between the Shanghai vegetarian food and the Western vegetarian food? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> um, I think the Shanghai vegetarian food actually like, has a really long history. Um, yeah. You know, from the around Buddhist temples, you will very often find these like fake vegetarian um, the fake meat yes. and fake meat in the West is really new thing actually yeah. it doesn't it, it's quite popular now but it doesn't have a long history at all it's a much more recent thing yeah. um, I think that's probably the main difference <laughs> this is our first dish of this restaurant which is the beetroot yogurt thank you thank you and this is the second snacks which is made of nuts I'm going to have a trial of the yogurt. I like beetroot, so I have a high expectations for this one. I've never tried beetroot yogurt before. I like the taste of the beetroot. Interesting. Yeah, but mixed with the yogurt is not not the thing that I I, I can imagine that I expect. It's unusual. Yeah. I'm going to have a try of the next one as well. Let me try one of these. Oh, it's quite tough. <laughs> Mm. It's not sweet as I expected, but it has chocolate inside of it and the nuts. It's strange to eat with chopsticks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is our last dish, the pizza, which is one of the specialty of this mm. of this restaurant. Let's have a try of that. Mm. It's good. It's special. The taste. Of I really the like that. Yeah, I like it as well. Mm. Special taste. The interesting thing is it's vegan, so yeah. the cheese is not cheese. Yeah. It will be made something. from nuts or something yeah, like something that. Yeah, something else. And this restaurant gives me a kind of feeling that being funded by a really kind and mm. gentle ladies and she paid a lot of attention to the food by herself instead yeah. of some 
famous chef. Yeah, before I came to China, I thought I don't like Chinese food because I'd only eaten Chinese food in the UK, and it's really bad. <laughs> okay, this is the end of our journey today. And which restaurant is your favorite? Honestly, the first one. <laughs> For the food, yeah. yeah. Um, really, I love that restaurant, but yeah. I think the environment of the second one is the best. For me, I would I would choose the first one because mm. because of the meat-like dishes. Right. And that's the end of our journey today. And if you like our video, please like and subscribe. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Bye bye.